Guys, Rich Page, our Jemathan Timber Frame Company, Maine Timber Framer. Want to give a quick update on doing some drop cuts and cleaning out material that's left behind. It's hard to get at when you're doing a bird mouth cut. Let me show you what I've done. All right, so from a previous video, you saw that I used the Moffle Mortiser to take out some material in here that's difficult to get at. So I've used that, and then uh, Timber Doodles had an idea uh, a while ago. It's the same thing as on the top end there to do a drop cut. So that's what I've done here. I have not yet removed the material. When you remove the material after you've done your mortise cut, that's how much material you've got to clean up. So overall, it's a pretty good setup and process. The drawback, I found two drawbacks with this. One, the Moffle Mortiser really does not like cutting the wood at a 45 degree. It's a cross cut blade and it doesn't do as well cutting on the 45 as it does cutting at a 90. So that's one thing I picked up on. The second thing is, is when you're using your saw, when you're using your cirque saw to do this cut, you're doing a ripping cut. Most all my blades are cross cut blades. We sharpen our own here. Uh, but what I'm going to look at doing is getting a ripping blade setting up one saw just to do the ripping so that I can rip that with a much smoother action than it is right now with a cross cut blade. So other than that, uh, time savings all around with a drop cut, time savings with the Moffle, um, and at the same time, you've got to get a cross cut blade for your circ saw, uh, excuse me, a ripping blade for your circ saw, and recognize that the Moffle doesn't like this all that well cutting at a 45 as compared to a 90. So there's my update. Just want to share that with you. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.